and welcome back. Today we're taking a quick look at the memorial and drone footage of RAF Carnaby. So, here we have the memorial. Talented artist Stephen Carville was commissioned to design the memorial. It depicts an historic scene that happened at Carnaby in April 1945. In April 1945, a Halifax bomber from No. 58 Squadron, skippered by Flight Lieutenant Lawson, was damaged after a bombing mission off the Norwegian coastline. Crew member Sergeant Frank Smith fell through a 12-foot hole in the fuselage and was presumed missing. The bomber headed for Area of Carnaby, but due to fogbound runway, was advised to go elsewhere. With fuel gauges on zero, Flight Lieutenant Lawson had no choice. Carnaby then relented and ordered Fido to be turned on to aid the safe landing of the battle damaged bomber. A secret installation known as Fido, fog investigation and dispersal operation was installed on the airfield. Fido was a series of pipelines along the runway into which fuel was pumped. During foggy weather, the fuel was set light, creating sufficient heat to burn a hole in the fog. This hole created a window in the fog enabling bomber pilots to see the runway and make a safe landing. The Halifax approached the runway with no flaps and at a speed of 140 knots. Upon disembarking, they discovered their missing crew member, Sergeant Smith, suspended beneath the aircraft saved by the D-rings on his parachute harness. He had spent over three hours dangling perilously under the aircraft whilst flying back over the cold North Sea. RAF Carnaby was an emergency landing strip that enabled crippled bombers a safe place to land near the English coast during World War II. It was situated two miles southwest of Bridlington. RAF Carnaby opened in March 1944. Unlike most RAF airfields, there was a single runway, five times the width of a standard runway at 9,000 feet long, lying approximately east to west to enable bombers crossing the coast an easier landing. Over 14,000 bombers made an emergency landing at the airfield up until the end of the war. Carnaby was only one of 15 airfields operating the fog dispersal system, known as Fog Investigation and Dispersal Operation, FIDO. The system consisted of two rows of burning petrol, one on each side of the runway. The heat from this fire raised the air temperature above the runways, cutting a hole in the fog and provided crews with a brightly lit strip indicating the position of the runway. Two other forms of functioning airfields were even constructed or further developed along the east coast of England, at Manston and Woodbridge. All three provide an emergency option for wartime bomber crews. RAF Carnaby was for many years used for the storage of new Nissan cars. Today it has been developed beyond recognition into an industrial park, although with aerial photography you can still make out the outline of the former airfield. <laughs>